because at the end of the day, I still have to pay my bills. My name is Mindy Chillery. I'm the Executive Director of Coventry Outspace. Um, and we are a small charity uh, who works with visual artists and the visual arts in Coventry. We are funded by a small core grant from Coventry City Council. And we also get some income from renting our studio spaces and gallery spaces. We try and operate from temporary spaces so that we can pass on um, uh, affordable uh, rents or, or memberships to studio holders or um, artists who want to exhibit in our spaces. With our other spaces we are the leaseholders and you know that's fine but we are a very small charity and so we have to go outside to get any expertise. I mean a key expertise, level of expertise that you'll need is, is for negotiating a lease is those legal expertise. So it's been amazingly helpful to have Access Web taking a, you know, doing all of that for us and, and as an artist organisation able to completely understand what it is we want to do and, and completely be on our side of like, you know, we want you to use this exactly as you want to use it. So Access Web have been a phenomenally beneficial partner for us and I hope we'll do it again yeah. <laughs> with another building in Coventry. It would be great. I haven't been to college for a long time since I had kids. Obviously we've had the biennial in, which has been amazing because the timing was quite good that the biennial were looking for a space, a large space, to have another exhibition in and also had a budget to do a little bit of work on the space. So they've, they've you know, we've benefited from that. So that's that's been a really positive partnership for us. And, and because, again, as I say, we're a, as a small charity, partnerships are everything to us. We, we have to work with our partners and uh, to achieve the kind of level of impact that we're trying to get so we started Coventry Biennial in 2017 just as the city was bidding to become UK City of Culture. Uh, so we noticed that if we acted really quickly uh, and delivered a, a festival that year we could have 2019 as a follow-on and then we'd be falling in line with City of Culture uh, if Coventry won, which it did. And that really set the precedent for then how we've gone on to work uh, this year. Working in, spa in spaces that are of the city really provides artists with like this unique opportunity to make something that that they perhaps couldn't make in a more traditional white cube, black box sort of environment. But also I think for audience it's far more accessible than some sort of museum where people feel it's not quite for them, they don't quite know how to behave necessarily in those spaces. Actually, if we're working with somewhere on your high street, then actually people are used to, to existing in these spaces. This year marks the 75th anniversary of uh, Coventry twinning with now Volvograd, at the time Stalingrad. Uh, and that moment was the very first uh, international twin cities relationship. So, Working with artists, we sort of dug into what the twin might be a little bit deeper. And so across the biennial, we've got artists dealing with copies, replication, binaries, doubles, fakes. Uh, and so the twins become this sort of uh, maybe a little bit elusive, but really embedded way of working with artists. And uh, that's informed the whole show. So my name's Alfie and this is Adelaida and we work collaboratively. Uh, under the name of Mouse Things and we, for this exhibition we are showing a litany which is a film divided in two halves and it shares the same audio so it's connected structurally by the audio. One half of it is f filmed in Catalonia where Adelaida is from and then the other half is in a city outside of London and we were interested in that because both places uh, share a, a kind of vote-leave sentiment at the moment with what's happening in Catalonia and Brexit. I fear how convinced the voice is. When collaboration happens in general, it basically 
means that the work that's being made wouldn't exist otherwise. Like, I wouldn't make this work and Alfie wouldn't make the same work either. So it gives a space for, you know, new things. And I find that really exciting. When we work together, we, we just, you know, question each other a lot because we actually are very different. And yeah, this is what happens. When we found the opportunity online, we were really excited because it really fitted the work. And obviously it's a great opportunity. We, I mean, this is our degree show piece. So it's really exciting that, you know, it's been taken and, you know, by someone that has nothing to do with university, someone has appreciated it and given us this opportunity to show the work elsewhere. The sort of the situation is really different as well, the way it's displayed. Uh, and I think, I mean, I think it's always good for the work to exist in different spaces and contexts. So thank you. <laughs>